Hey everybody, welcome to Hat Hole Home Video. I'm BQ. Uh, today I want to talk about Batman Returns because it's Christmas time and this movie gets brought up quite a bit uh, along with Die Hard in that is this a Christmas movie uh, debate? Uh, I'm not here to debate that right now. I will keep my highly controversial stance on whether or not Die Hard and Batman Returns are or are not Christmas movies for another video. Uh, but I want to talk about Batman Returns because I feel like we live in an era now where a lot of hate gets thrown Batman Returns' way. And I don't get that. I remember a time, I grew up in the era of Batman Returns, and I remember people loving it. I remember loving it. I don't remember anybody saying a bad thing. And, you know, obviously, I wasn't reading the reviews when I was 11. I just remember the the playground talk. And as far as I remember, it was like Batman Returns ruled, everybody loved it. I And I'm, I'm discovering now that uh, apparently that was not the case. Maybe it was just in my little uh, backwoods, boonie town, uh, elementary school playground. But w whatever the case, I'm here to defend Batman Returns. I think Batman Returns is better than Batman 89. That's that's just where I'm at emotionally as a as a 43 year old man talking about movies on the internet. Batman Returns is just better. Um, in every way that you can measure, I think it surpasses Batman 89. I think it's a more interesting story. I think it moves much quicker. I think visually it might be the perfect visualization of Tim Burton's, well, I mean, aside from like Nightmare Before Christmas, but maybe the first, the, the, the height of live action interpretation of Tim Burton's illustrative style. Let's put it that way in a nice succinct way that I just said. Um, I think that it is somehow both visually bright and striking while being mostly monochrome, mostly at night in a way that Batman 89 is just dark and dingy. I just, I think visually Batman Returns is much better. You have the cast to end all casts. You have Danny DeVito and Michelle Pfeiffer and Christopher Walken. Um, I feel like there was other cool people in this movie that now I'm forgetting. But sorry that that list isn't big enough for you. Um, I re-watching this movie, coming back to it, I always forget how much Christopher Walken is in it and how good he is in it. Um, they really needed to get him in, like, gray fright wigs more often. He just looks so good in this movie. I also think that this movie leans... I also think that Batman Returns leans into the vibe of campy 60s Batman. In a, you know, it doesn't go full campy 60s, but it leans in that direction. It's, it stays planted in the Batman 89 Tim Burton style, but then it it just leans campy 60s. I mean, it's got penguins with bombs strapped to them. Like, there's, there is a, a, a campy, cartoonish quality in Batman Returns that is reminiscent of 60s camp. It is absent, or uh, uh, mostly absent from Batman 89, and it's, it's just f more front and center in Returns. And that's a vibe that I really like. That is just, you know, I, with a lot of franchises, I tend to lean towards the cartoonier like installments in the franchise. I don't, there's something in me that just likes that. I mean, if something just has a sprinkle of Looney Tunes to it, it's it's just better for me. It's just, I gobble it up. So I, I there there's that, there's that vibe. There's also, weirdly enough, even though I'm saying it's more campy, it's more cartoony, uh, there is also this adult edge to it that I think is fun. It's a very horny movie without question. I mean, Penguin is just like an overtly horny character. Michelle Pfeiffer's 
Catwoman is obviously very uh, sexy and seductive. Um, so there, there's that juxtaposition. There's that extra, uh, probably shouldn't, when I'm talking about sexiness and horniness, say there's that sauce going into the soup. But, um, but you know what I mean? It's, it's a cool mix. I just don't get this current and may, and again, maybe it's something that's been around for a long time. Maybe you've been sitting in your basement hating on Batman Returns since the 90s and people just didn't have an outlet for it until now. But I just don't get the hate. I just think Batman Returns is so good, so fun. Every time I come back to it, I'm just so pleasantly surprised at the fun ride that that, that movie takes us on. So that's all I have to say. Um, if you want to try to defend your position that Batman Returns sucks, you're welcome to try to do it in the comments. Otherwise, if you want to throw a little love Batman Returns way, that's the comments is also the place for you. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe. All that fun, all that super exciting fun stuff that, that we love to do on YouTube. We just all love to be subscribing and hitting buttons and, um, you know, jumping on calls to action from YouTubers. We all love it so much. But uh, sorry, just kidding. <laughs> I don't know how to end videos, so I just ramble. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.